Introducing the Lippy View 2 from Tier Science. The Lippy View 2 Ocular Surface Interferometer is an ophthalmolic imaging device intended for use by a physician in adult patients to capture, archive, manipulate, and store digital images of specular interferometric observations of the tear film. Using these images, Lippy View 2 measures the absolute thickness of the tear film lipid layer. Mybomian glands under near infrared illumination. The ocular surface and eyelids under white illumination. All of these image types can be photographically documented and visually monitored. Lippy View 2 labeling information, including contraindications, warnings, precautions, and potential adverse effects, is available at the end of this video and in the Lippy View 2 Ocular Surface Interferometer instructions for use. If you have any questions, please contact Tier Science at customer service at tierscience.com. In this video, we will review device setup safe and effective use, device labeling. Power on Lippy View 2 at the device base. Ensure the patient and operator are clear of the chin rest area and press OK. The system initialization will take about 20 seconds. You will notice the motion stage will self-adjust. Touch anywhere on the screen to continue. Enter the operator name and password using the on-screen keyboard. If this is your first time logging in, enter Lippy View for both username and password. You are ready to enter the patient information. For an existing patient, select the name on the patient records screen or enter the patient ID or name in the search field and select the desired patient record from the list. For a new patient, select Add Patient, enter the patient's information and save. The patient record must include a patient ID or last name, first name, and date of birth. Once you have set up your patient record, select the imaging mode to test or view for lipid imaging, gland imaging, or ocular imaging. Select lipid imaging from the capture view screen and select new. Disinfect the forehead and chin rest with 70 to 90% concentration isopropyl alcohol. Ensure the chin rest is in closest position toward the device. Position the patient properly into the chin and forehead rest. Adjust the chin rest with the fluted roller to ensure the temporal canthus is aligned with the marks on the right and left side of the forehead rest. Instruct the patient to look in the direction of the orange fixation light inside the Libby View 2. Touch the right or left side of the lipid image capture screen for the eye to be imaged. To ensure the pupil is centered on the screen, position the camera using one or a combination of methods. If the pupil is visible, press the target icon to automatically center the pupil. If the pupil is not visible, touch the desired location of the pupil on screen to move the camera into position. Adjust the camera manually using the keypad until the pupil is centered on the screen. When the pupil is centered, adjust the focus until the image is clear by pressing the target icon to autofocus. If autofocus does not produce a clear image, you can use the F3 or F4 buttons or use manual focus controls until the image is clear. Advise the patient to blink naturally and to look in the direction of the orange fixation light. When ready, press Capture. The video will automatically stop recording after 20 seconds. Or you can stop the recording at any time by pressing Capture. When recording is complete, review the video by using the on-screen playback button. If you are not satisfied with the image quality, delete the video using the trash can icon and capture another image. Repeat the same steps for the opposite eye. Once both eyes have been imaged, press Analyze to save and process the images. The Review Lipid Images screen appears with the Tear Film Lipid Layer Images. Select one of the icons at the bottom of the screen to display the desired view. The Eyeball icon shows you the full eye view. 
The tiled icon brings up the isolated lipid layer view. The closed eye icon shows the blinking frames only view. Use the video playback controls to review the video. Select the notepad icon to add notes to the exam. Existing patient images or previous exams can be reviewed at any time from the patient record screen. Drag and drop the desired images from the list to the sides of the screen marked Drop Here. Average lipid layer thickness is displayed on the screen. The C factor indicates how well the video matches the interferometric color spectrum. The partial blink ratio is presented as a fraction of partial blinks over the total number of blinks. Export saved images, videos, or reports, or print a report by pressing the export icon located in the middle of screen towards the bottom. To image the meibomian glands, select Gland Imaging from the Capture View screen and select New. Disinfect the chin and forehead rest and the handheld near IR lid everter with 70 to 90% isopropyl alcohol prior to use. Turn the room lights down or off and make sure the chin rest is in the correct position, extended away from the device and closer to the patient. Inspect the lid everter to ensure the edges are smooth and intact before using to evert the patient's eyelids. Position the patient properly into the chin and forehead rest. Once the patient is positioned properly, select the right or left upper or lower eyelid by touching the Magnify View icon in the applicable quadrant on the gland image capture screen. To image the lower eyelid, place the lid everter on or slightly below the lashes. While maintaining contact, pull the lid down and then roll the lid everter slightly inward and upward. Ensure that the full extent of the meibomian glands is visible over the entire nasal to temporal length of the eyelid. Use the on-screen controls to center the image of the everted eyelid. Touch the desired location to center the image on the screen. The push button controls on top of the unit allow the operator to perform the same image adjustment functions when access to the touch screen is limited during lid eversion. Full instructions for the push button controls are available in the LippyView 2 instructions for use. Use the target icon to autofocus or push button controls. If needed, press the Find Focus on screen controls until the image is clear. The image must be clear prior to capture. Toggle between the reflected IR and trans IR views to ensure image quality. When ready, capture an image by pressing the large camera icon button. For optimal image quality, it is important that the patient and operator remain still until the image capture is complete. Make sure that the operator's hand does not obstruct the lid, block the camera, or interfere with the illuminator's light path. Review image quality of both the reflected and trans IR views. If the image shows partial lid version or is blurred, poorly centered, obscured, or washed out, select the trash can icon to delete the image. Repeat the steps to recapture a clear image. Select the notepad icon to add notes to the exam. To image an upper eyelid, click on the magnify view in the applicable quadrant. Evert the upper lid using your preferred technique. Note that the lid everter is not used to image the upper eyelids. Center, focus, and capture an image by using the same on-screen steps. Once all required images have been captured, press Analyze to save the images. Gland images can be reviewed on the Capture View screen. The three types of images that are provided include Reflected IR image, Trans IR image, Merged image. The reflected IR view for both upper and lower eyelid gland images reflects the infrared light and will appear white, with the space in between the glands appearing dark. The trans IR view is only for the lower eyelid gland images when using the lid everter. The glands will appear dark and the spaces between the glands will be white. The merged view is for the lower eyelid images and combines the reflected IR and trans IR views. 
The glands will be white, isolated against a dark background. Review any of the gland images at any time from the patient's record screen. View the desired images from the list in the same manner as previously instructed. Toggle between the different images as desired. Expand the selected image by selecting the full screen icon in the lower right corner of each image. Ocular imaging allows you to capture high-resolution images of the eye and the eyelids. To begin, select Ocular Imaging and New from the Capture View screen. Disinfect the chin and forehead rest with 70 to 90% isopropyl alcohol prior to use. Make sure the chin rest is in the extended position away from the device and position the patient properly into the chin and forehead rest. Instruct the patient to look forward at the orange fixation light. Separately capture an image of each eye by touching the appropriate side of the ocular image capture screen. Touch the desired location to be imaged. This will automatically move the camera and center on the location. Select Turn White Light Illumination On to use the Lippy View 2 light source, or Turn Off to use the natural room lighting. Once the image is centered, press the target icon to autofocus or push button controls. If needed, press the Find Focus on screen controls until the image is clear. The image must be clear prior to capture. Press the camera or video icon to capture a still image or record a 5 second video. The blinking red light indicates Lippy View 2 is recording a video. Capture up to 10 images and one video per eye. View ocular images, select the patient from the Capture View screen in the same manner as other imaging options. If desired, press the Export icon to export images or print a report. Make sure to log out when the device is not in use. Power off Lippy View 2 overnight to allow the device to cool down. The device does not need to be powered off between patient examinations during the day. A complete troubleshooting guide and all operational system messages are detailed in the Lippy View 2 instructions for use. The following is important labeling information for Lippy View 2. This information is also provided in the Lippy View 2 Ocular Surface Interferometer instructions for use.
If you have any questions, please contact Tier Science at customer service at tierscience.com. This information will help you when using LippyView 2. As always, we are here to help. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact your local Tier Science representative or contact Tier Science at customer service at tierscience.com.